All right, guys, today we're here to talk about the AK Gen 2. I call it the Gen 2 because I think it's better than an AK. Get caught, get. This is really cool. What is going on guys? Alec coming to you from Classic Firearms and today we got Matt with us. What's up guys? Today we are here to do a manufacturer review of M&M. &M. Um, what do you think about these guys, Matt? So M&M is really cool as a manufacturer and an importer. Um, mm -hmm. I really like the lineup they have, whether it be AKs and variants that they produce themselves or yeah. the ones they import. Mm -hmm. And in fact, they uh, also are a source of surplus stuff for us too. Yeah. That is true. So these guys we've got on the table here, we've got a pistol platform and a rifle platform, but these look a little different than your traditional AK. Yeah, they're not exactly the uh, good old AKM, you know, stamped uh, sheet metal receivers and stuff. Uh, they consider them more modern AK. I got you. So this is the M10X platform. And uh, I mean, when you look at all the different kind of hybrids out there today, mm -hmm. you know, on the market, this is a really cool one to consider if you're someone who Maybe you're not primarily an AK guy, you're like an AR guy. Yeah. Or, you know, maybe train on AR like you know you did in mm -hmm. the Marines. And this would be a great way to kind of get into that AK world. Yeah, so it kind of puts me in the mind of somewhat similar of like a CMMG Banshee, or not the Banshee, but the uh, the AK rifle that they have. The Mark 47? Yeah, that's technically Previously an AR. called the Mutant? Yeah, so the Mutant is kind of like this, but obviously this looks more like your traditional AK because it takes your AK mags and it is built pretty much on the same similar platform, but it has some modern kind of niceties yeah. that the AK is in my opinion, kind of missing out of the factory. Well, so you know I love AKs, <laughs> and AKs not missing anything, yeah. but one of the things I do like about this is if you were going to try to have a more modernized version yeah. of the AK, this keeps the aesthetic, like you said. It kind mm -hmm. of looks like you're uh, you're running a tactical AK even though it is mechanically different in several important respects. Gotcha. So just taking a look at this guy, this is the M10X pistol right here. So you can see up front, we have their muzzle brake. And again, that kind of very, very reliable long stroke piston system. This guy is adjustable as well right here. If you can see that, you have three different positions um, that you can operate this guy in. So really cool on that. The M-Lock rail, I like a lot. With this too, it's kind of a monolithic yep. section, right? So it's all one piece. So you don't have just that traditional like AKM handguard, which I like a lot and it gives you a long longer rail space too, which again, me not, I, I love AKs. I have, I have a soft spot in my heart for AKs, but I, again, you know, mounting an optic to an AK is not the easiest thing in the world to do, in my opinion. Th so there, there are options, but there sure. Are. I mean, it's not yeah. like a, it's not like, most of them aren't like ARs where you just. Yeah, exactly. And on here you have a lot of rail space to, you know, where you can mount your lights and accessories mm -hmm. and other things. And the m -lock rail is great with that as well. Charging handle on here is really cool because it's reversible as well. I think we kind of figured that out here playing with it. Um, it's real simple. Just pop this guy out and then put him into the other side there. This comes with the 30 round X-Tech magazine that you guys see here. Um, this kind of puts me in the mind of the uh, the US Palm mags yeah. a little yeah. bit. I definitely think that's a very similar kind of design. We have this rifle version, which is basically the same as the pistol version in a lot of respects. Yeah. But, uh, of course, longer barrel, 16 inches at least, and it's got the nice Magpul folding stock on here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I really do like the fact that it's reversible. It came out of the box here on the left side. Being a left-hander, I greatly like my charging handles on the right side yeah. because then you just don't ever have to leave your shooting grip. And so it is really nice that, you know, you can kind of see that the end of the charging handle pushes in and then you can push it in and turn it. And there's basically a little wire capture, so that lets you just pull that out. And then you can simply... You have to push it all the way, there you there go. go. There we go. And then, you know, just turn it back to lock it in place. <laughs> but you can see it's it's really quick to change over. And now I have it set up the way I would like it, mm -hmm. where it's on my left side. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. I like that a lot. And then with this guy too, this obviously doesn't have um, a brace on it being in the pistol configuration, but you can easily attach a brace back here, your SB Tacticals or the traditional AK brace. Yeah, is that, uh, like is that, that tapped? I see it's drilled. Yeah. It looks like, yeah, it looks like those holes are tapped. So you could yeah. uh, mount some kind of an adapter or something there. Yeah, overall, very, very cool platform. Um, like I said, I like this thing a lot. Me, not necessarily being a traditional AK purist. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Brandon Herrera. But I, I think these overall, if I was going to go for a kind of that middle ground, mm -hmm. I guess, where I wanted the you know reliability of the AK, but I wanted some more modularity. I think this would be kind of a good mix See, I in would, between. I would approach this from another uh, aspect. I, I would buy one of these as well, but it's because I want everything that shoots 760 by 39. Like That's a good point. Everything. Yeah. So uh, it's great that it looks like an AK. It fits right there in, in my uh, primary zone of interest. And, you know, again, like 
if you're looking for something that maybe has a little bit more familiar controls, you actually have kind of an AR-15 style safety here. It's mm -hmm. actually only uh, like a like 45 short, degree stroke, yeah, yeah. short stroke uh, throw. And so, uh, you know, you got a pretty comfortable grip. Of course, you could switch this out for any number of other accessories. It looks like it takes a standard AK grip. Mm -hmm. um, but you're right, you know, that monolithic rail is awesome. Like, obviously this does not have any iron sights on it. You could mount iron sights so far, far apart, yeah. as opposed to with an AK, traditionally, you're just going from a about very here section, yeah. to here. So you could have a much longer, uh, you know, plane of, of sight for your sights. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, any number of optics accessories. Yeah. You could have your, your red dot that flips to the side and like a uh, magnifier and yeah. then a night vision scope yeah. and then Put it all on there stuff once, like yeah. that. One of the things I think is really cool about AKs is the reliability and so usually they're kind of over gassed though to mm -hmm. achieve that reliability. You know, yeah. that's why uh, you know they'll, they'll throw brass into the third lane yeah. down the range. But uh, so it's nice to be able to adjust that. So if you're mm -hmm. uh, you know not wanting to annoy your neighbors, you can. Yeah, that's true. And these would be great to suppress too. I mean, these are threaded. So I mean, especially with that adjustable gas block as well, you can easily suppress this. We were talking about the safety. I forgot to mention this thing has an awesome trigger as well. Um, we'll go ahead and go see this trigger really quick here. Again, that, sh that short 45 degree throw is really nice. Um, this thing has probably roughly about a four pound trigger in it. Um, so you see there's a little bit of take up that's right here. And then it's a back, it's pretty defined back wall. Mm -hmm. After that, a little bit of pressure and it breaks. You guys can go ahead and see that reset. Pushes your finger forward, fairly decent amount, um, and that's it. It's so a, it's a little creepy, but it's definitely a nice positive. Like, yeah. You know, it pushes your finger forward. So it's definitely not a, a traditional AK trigger. Although I'd tell you what, man, like you can clean up an AK trigger and make it. Oh yeah, Snap that's very, very true. Yeah. And these are great too. Like I said, you know, it's it's not your out of the box like AK trigger that you expect. It, it's a little upgraded and you know, after putting, well, maybe not now because it's Ammo Geddon 2021, but I was gonna say back in the, the good old days of a few years ago when you could go to the range and put a couple thousand rounds through your 7.62. For like 20 bucks. Yeah, for, like, yeah, for nothing at all. So speaking of that, um, guys, if you're not subscribed to our Ammo Alerts, make sure you scan the QR code that's over here or text video um, to the link down below. That's gonna get you set up for those SMS alerts and you're gonna wanna make sure that you're signed up for those so you can go. It goes fast, man. It does go so really fast. fast. I mean, you're out in the warehouse, man. I mean, just they come in and they're gone. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's I, like, you know, things will show up on a truck and that every bit of it's gone on yeah. like the next day. Immediately the off the truck, straight into the shipping. Yeah, <laughs> like, pretty, it's pretty crazy, much. Man. Just got to slap a label on the outside in between. Yeah. Another, you know, just small feature as I'm, I'm standing here looking, uh, you know, so you already got your QD mounts here on the stock as well mm -hmm. as the, uh, no, the handguard. So, you know, really easy to throw a sling, whether it be two point or a single point or whatever. Uh, you can even put one way back here if you mm -hmm. want like a nice long. Yeah, I mean, so you're right. There, there are some nice upgrades over a traditional AK. Yeah. I, I still like traditional AKs. Yeah. This has uh, a fold stock too, which yeah, I like right. a lot. So, you know, it is a folding stock. So, you know, you can fold that Real bad nice boy and up. compact. Yeah. yeah, you know, if you were, uh, I don't know, doing something professionally where you were using this gun, yeah. you know, you're getting in and out of vehicles or whatever, mm -hmm. um, that's certainly going to be a great asset. Or just, you know, storing it behind like, yeah the seat of your truck or something. Mm -hmm. While we're talking about these, we have an actual AK from Eminem behind the thing here. Yeah. So if you are more of a purist like me, uh, they, here is a, one of the line of uh, imported from Kugir in Romania. Uh, so it's similar to where Wasser and, and those kind of guns are made. Uh, but this is a traditional AK. You got the nice big AK safety lever, extra gas piston, uh, very much a real AKM style mm -hmm. firearm. With the short sights too. And again, you know, even being an AK purist like you are, I think this one's kind of cool too, even looking at it from my side because it does come with the uh, the Picatinny rails on there, which is nice on top if you wanted to throw a red dot or something mm -hmm. like that, you easily could. This is definitely not the longest uh, sight radius. So, I mean, I probably wouldn't use yeah. the sights, but they're there, you know, if you wanted to use them. But like I said, I'd probably I mean, just throw in a red dot. In, in fairness, as, a, as an AK pistol, that I is mean, true. you're not shouldering this, uh, yeah. you know, you're, you're holding it out or yeah. something but you're right i mean still it would be great if uh you know you had a little bit more sight radius mm -hmm. uh they do mark it out to 500 yards which might be a bit of a stretch bit optimistic <laughs> but i mean certainly the round is capable the question is will the velocity coming out of the shorter barrel and the short sight radius and stuff allow you to shoot yeah. to the best of your ability that's true and you know another thing that i do love about ak's is they are a lot simpler to clean than ars oh, yeah. are you know just pop that top cover off or on these they don't, just fold down you know, don't you yeah just don't clean it or yeah or i don't guess you have to clean it all right so <laughs> you should clean your guns i mean but uh, but you're right you know all the parts are big and chunky lots of space in there yeah and, clean with your fingers in a rag if you need to. Yeah, pretty much. They're very, very simple. We like them a lot. I mean, I think that's a great review of some 
the great products that M&M has brought us. Again, they're they're even more than this. You know, they're uh, an importer that brings in surplus mm -hmm. and, and lots of quality firearms. Uh, but one thing that we haven't hit on yet is the awesomeness that is our giveaway. Yes, this is switching from AK AK Comrade to uh, kind of a good old American rifle. Um, this is the 223, the Nevesky Recon, um, with that Q cherry bomb, that 16 inch barrel that's bead blasted, the Huey, your Sylvan Arms folding stock adapter, Magpul, Inbus Pro flip up sights, uh, Echo Trigger comes with the guard dog body armor plus the Savior equipment bag. I mean, really, I can't think of anything it's else. It's the complete package. Yeah, I mean, this um, is really the ultimate kind of, in my mind, truck gun. I mean, everything goes together, nice little package with that Sylvan, just goes right into that Savior you know, bag. You know, we talked about, you know, being able to, to reduce the length and mm -hmm. throw something behind a truck yeah. uh, seat, and this would be another great example of a way to get this nice compact. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a fantastic looking rifle. It's a fantastic functioning rifle. Absolutely. Um, you know, certainly, you know, the, the functionality of this is just fantastic. Uh, I love the feel of that Magpul uh, grip. And, you know, again, the uh, the Vortex optic mm -hmm. is, I love those. Uh, yeah, I love yeah, we were talking about that in the other video, like where we where Clint tried to go out and break these uh -huh. with that and the EOTech, they just wouldn't break, man. They're yeah. great. And if you did break it, Vortex has a lifetime warranty. There you so, go. There you go. But guys, uh, the code word to get extra inches in for this recon rifle is going to be you guessed it, Recon, R-E-C-O-N, for my army guys that can't spell out there. It's just amazing how creative they are when coming up with these. I just I can't tell you. Well, I'm a Marine, so I'm pretty dumb. But anyways, guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up there. I hope you enjoy this review of Eminem. They are a fantastic company. I know we reach out to them a lot for yeah. a lot of stuff, um, and they make great firearms and import a lot of great firearms. <laughs> so anyways, guys, we're gonna leave it off there. God bless. We appreciate your business. We'll see you next time.